hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today uh, we are back with another important topic so uh, this topic we are going to talk about one of a uh, critical apache vulnerabilities which is uh, recently identified and which is a hot topic now because every major tech companies and it companies or other companies are uh, really running uh, to get this fixed so this is a uh, high critical vulnerabilities which has which have to be you know fixed very quickly that's what the information was passed and this uh, vulnerability is called apache log 4j vulnerabilities so but i'm not going to talk uh, more about uh, how you know um, this vulnerability is, is created we'll give you basic information and i'm not going to talk from an apache point of view uh, this tutorial is more about on the splunk so I want to talk about, you know, there is a advisory released by Splunk as well on this Apache Log4 vulnerability and how this is impacting the Splunk or Splunk apps, you know. So you know, what uh, I'm going to talk about in this tutorial or I'm going to show you is based on that article by Splunk has released. I'll give you, you know, the details on which our applications are having this problem and how we can fix those vulnerabilities uh, for uh, Splunk. So uh, basically, you know, that process will be applicable for you for other uh, places as well, but uh, I'm not sure, but you'll have to check how that can be fixed for other applications. So let's get started. To give you some basic information on what is Log4j software vulnerability, so as I said, you know, this is a very top uh, discussions now and every you know uh, tech companies whether it's uh, you know uh, twitter or apple or any companies i think most of everybody will be using this log4j library so what it has been found like there is a bug in this uh, log4j library which is from apache and which allows uh, an attacker or hacker to execute some code on our systems that uses uh, log4j uh, to write logs okay so what uh, it, it allows this because of this like you know uh, it allows the hackers to access our complete uh, servers or system wherever this uh, log4j library is used so that's what the overall uh, no, uh, vulnerability is about and uh, as i said now all the major tech companies are rushing to get this uh, fixed and apache has already released uh, version so this vulnerability is mainly impacting on 2.0 uh, version still 2.14 some version and you know you can update it to 2.15.0 uh, or more than that and that will fix this problem so um, the main uh, reason why this uh, you know is, is a big uh, issue is because as i said log4j is a library and it's mostly used on many java applications so we we know like we have a lot of java application most of all uh, companies and all these java application will use some kind of logging of data and uh, log4j is the best or easiest way to do that so every most of all company may be using this log4j libraries that's why you know now everybody is rushing to get this fixed so now let's talk about you know how uh, this is impacting on splunk and we will see like what are apps which are having this problem and how to get those fixed and i will also show you from where you can download you know the latest version and how, what are some solutions which is available and now how you can also identify this log4j using some scans and all those things so uh, let's get started on the splunk topic so before that i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my video and also uh, press the bell icon or give your comments share these uh, videos with others so now coming to this um, splunk security advisory so this link i will give you to the video description so i think this is getting updated uh, regularly on their findings so now you can see as per this uh, you know, blog itself it has clearly mentioned about this critical remote core execution vulnerabilities and uh, it is based on this apache log 4j2 version so it is from 2.0 to 2.14.1 so uh, you know any thing which is above you know 2.15.0 i think that's where uh, they have released the uh, version apache has released a new version for log 4j uh, so we can use that to fix this now basically for splunk you know splunk is already reviewing all the products 
uh, impacting uh, because of this vulnerability and they're also working on the mitigations that's what it says and you know uh, basically this Splunk enterprise or you know the, they don't have an impact uh, unless you can see course uh, enterprise functionality does not use log4j so therefore no impact so if you are using a Splunk enterprise there is no impact uh, unless if you are using data fabric search DFS or Splunk analytics for Hadoop hunk so if these two products are used because this have you know uh, there is a impact because this product uses or leverage a log forging so if you are using these uh, two as part of our your Splunk enterprise then you uh, will end up in some kind of vulnerabilities so if these features are not used then there is no active attack uh, vector related to these vulnerabilities which is released on Apache log 4 j so that's what clearly it's mentioned and you can also read like all the recent non windows version of uh, Splunk Enterprise uh, for these features so and windows version does not include include log 4 j so there is no uh, problem in that and you know uh, we are not using it but there is also another steps you know if you want to you delete uh, any unwanted jar file you can do that i will show you that as well now if you come to this product list so they have also listed the, what are the products which are impacted uh, by this vulnerability so the main thing is like the java management extension so if you are using jmx plugin so this java plug you know management plugin to uh, capture a lot of data you need to know that this is using uh, you know this gem uh, J, this um, you know apache uh, dot log log 4j file okay sorry about so apache log 4j files are used and you know you can see this version uh, the impacted version is 3.0 to 2.0 so even though it says that the fix is pending and work on to be determined uh, one of suggestion I can tell you is like you know it's uh, you know more like a, a file right so what you can do is you can go to Apache uh, you know log4j download I will give this link for that as well and you can download this uh, you know uh, tar file for Linux and if you are for Windows you can download the bin file and you can extract it which will give you the you know complete uh, list of uh, uh, the files. So you can go to the download. So if it's going to be zip file, you can download it for zip file. If it's for a uh, Linux machine, you can download the tar file. Now you can see it give you the all versions. So basically, you know what we will have it in uh, Splunk uh, JMX plugin would be the API and also the core. So these two files, you know, it should be uh, used in the JMX plugin. It, sh it will be available under the Splunk Home ETC apps and you will have a Splunk TA JMX and inside that you will have bin and lib and you should be able to see these uh, files like log4j API and log4j core and maybe some other file as well but I've seen these two specifically so what you can do is you can uh, you know rename the old files or you can you know make it as a backup then you can you know, move these uh, new files into that location and then you can uh, stop the Splunk and uh, restart the Splunk service. So that should take care, you know, at least the usage of the old plugin, uh, all the you know, log4j version in your uh, JMX app. So I would say, you know, that's one of uh, option I suggest um, uh, as far as I see, you know, if you just want to replace with all the new version, this would be the easiest way unless you know Splunk come up with some kind of uh, solution so if you can once they come up you should be able to use that solution as well now you can see also other apps like JBoss, Tomcat, you know data stream processor, ITSI, you know Kafka Connect, Enterprise you know if you see the Enterprise we already spoke about you know it's applicable only for if you are using Hung or DFS but basically you also have some places this file will be seen but even though it's there it's not uh, impacting or it's not used anywhere so you, that's what it says but if you want to delete them you can delete uh, using some settings I will show you that how to do that and other apps like uh, Splunk Enterprise Amazon machine image Splunk and Docker container logging for Java you know stream processor and you can see in which version is on-prem cloud all those things are defined now they also uh, confirm that these products are not vulnerable so they have already gone through a list of uh, uh, apps 
so you can also see like if you are you know using any of these app then it's not vulnerable as well or it's not using the apache log 4 js you can see splunk universal photo now you see like uh, if you want to remove even though it's not used for example if the does not leverage the presence of these libraries that not did not uh, you know introduce any attack vector that means even though the file is listed there it's not introducing any act uh, you know in or vulnerabilities or it's not uh, introducing any attack vector so uh, but in case if you want to be cautious and if you want you want to remove even though it's not used you want to remove those you have to go to all these location and you should be able to see uh, these files for log4j and you, sh you can delete them but you know the pro uh, one statement they have given is uh, once you remove it you know when you're starting up splunk you may get some integrity errors because these jar files are removed and this is uh, as expected because we are deleting those files and these errors can be ignored so that's what it says uh, you know in the case but if you are using any any apps you know which uh, as part of this list and specifically as i see like java apps like jmx plugin or jmx app you know it's definitely using it so you have to go there and you can change uh, delete those older version and you can put the new uh, jar files over the locations so as i said it's mainly in the jmx app so it's under etc apps and the uh, splunk ta jmx and bin lip so it should, you should be able to see those files so that's uh, what i to show like i'll give you these links in the video description so you can have a look into this you can go to this uh, apache log 4 j to uh, you know download the file as well then you can go through it and you know you can download the files and you can zip unzip it and you can make use of that so that's our uh, overall thing about this uh, vulnerability so I, I hope it's uh, useful for you and uh, I hope uh, you know you like my videos and uh, for watching more videos I would request you to subscribe for more videos and also like uh, my videos share and comment so thank you for watching.